Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to specify deflection checks for an elevated slab in RAM concept. This workflow is a multi-step process, including defining the deflection limit criteria, instructing the program where to check the slabs for deflection, and then performing the calculation and reviewing the results. Now for this particular model, we're at the point in our workflow where we've already defined the deflection limit criteria and we are ready to instruct the program where to check the slab for deflections. Now deflection checks can be assigned to design objects like span segments and deflection check lines, which all exist on the design strip layers. As you can see for this sample model, I've already opened up the latitude and longitude design spans plan. So let's go ahead and consider which span segments we would like to assign deflection checks to first. And I'm gonna start in my latitude direction. So the goal for this slab is to check the main slab for deflection due to live load against the limits that we already specified, and then also to explore the effects that the cladding will have on the perimeter of the slab, which is where that load exists. So that being said, let's go ahead and start by selecting our span segments. I'm gonna use my selection tool available on each layer within RAM concept, and I'm gonna draw a fence around the main model. I'm going to use my filter tool to only take a look at our span segments. Now that I've done that, I'm also going to take a look to see if all of these span segments would be appropriate for a deflection check. And one of the areas I'm taking a look at is this particular bay right here. Now within the deflection check criteria, we instructed the program to calculate the deflection limits as a function of the span length. Now, since the span segments in this particular area do not represent the length of the span, we're gonna instruct RAM concept to perform a deflection check in this area using a deflection check object. We'll get to that a little later in this video, but for now, let's go ahead and unselect these span segments. Now that we've selected the span segments we're interested in, we're gonna right click and say selection properties. In the general tab, you're gonna notice that any of the deflection checks you've already previously defined will be available. For the main slab, we're gonna be checking it for occupancy, instantaneous live load, that's our first deflection check we created, and also the final instantaneous live load deflection check. Once we're finished, let's go ahead and click OK. Now we're also going to want to take a look at the deflection of the slab at the perimeter where the cladding will be installed. So I'm going to specifically select the span segments that are in that area. I'm going to right click and say Selection Properties. And this time I'm going to include the cladding live load. Let's go ahead and repeat that in the longitude direction. Now, once we've assigned deflection check criteria, to our span segments, we're also going to consider where else we want to check the slab for deflection limits. Now, one of the things that might be useful to take a look at is to check your slab to see if you have any particular areas where your span segments were not the most appropriate object to assign a deflection check to. For us, that actually exi is existing here. And then in addition to that, it's also helpful to know 
where your maximum deflections are, and if there's any bays where a span segment is not running through, say, the most critical section. So for our particular model, we're going to create some manual deflection check lines. This is basically your other option for telling the program that you want to specify a deflection check. So to get this process started, let's go ahead and double click on this icon. And you can see here that you can enter your default deflection check line properties. I'm gonna put these on the latitude layer because that's the layer I'm looking at right now. And I'm going to select which deflection checks I'm interested in. Now here, these deflection check lines I'm going to create are in the middle of the slab. So I'm specifically looking for my live load deflections. That being said, let's go ahead and click OK and draw the deflection check lines as needed. The first area that I know I want to investigate is this area where I don't currently have any deflection checks. Now we should be able to see a little orange line has appeared in that area. Now if you don't see this orange line or if you get a note saying that that object is not visible on your layer, let's go ahead and discuss that real quickly. In your toolbar, click on your visible objects icon and make sure that these checkboxes are selected. If they're unselected, then when you draw your deflection check lines, they're still going to exist, but they just won't be visible. In addition to that, for this particular model, again, I know that my largest deflection is happening in this long bay. So I'm going to create some additional deflection check lines there. Now at this point, this concludes a process for instructing the program where you want to check the slab for deflections, and we're ready to move on to the next phase in our workflow, which is to perform the calculation and review the results. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.